Hey everyone, it's Heliax here. I just wanted to say real quick before the episode started that if for some reason you are new to the channel and this is the first Let's Play you're checking out, you want to see what the DLC is like and all that, I just want to warn you that the DLC does take place uh, just before the end of the base game. So there are going to be spoilers in the... Um, in the episode now obviously if you haven't played the game you won't really know we won't really understand any of it but i just wanted to let you guys know that there are spoilers so if that's something that concerns you uh i would not continue watching this episode but um if it doesn't concern you or if you've already seen pathfinder or, or played it uh, welcome and i hope you enjoy hello everyone and welcome back to pathfinder wrath of the righteous although it is no longer going to be Wrath of the Righteous. Today, we are going to be starting the Inevitable Excess, the DLC. All right. I'm excited. It's been about two weeks since I finished uh, the, the main game. For you guys, it'll probably either be just one day, just the next day. I might end up skipping a day or two. I don't know yet, but... um. Yeah, I'm ready to jump back into some Pathfinder. So, new game. Inevitable Excess. Answer a plea from a powerful entity and defend the space-time continuum against imminent collapse. Use your unparalleled mythic powers to do battle with truly invincible opponents. Import your character from the main campaign just before the moment of their greatest triumph, their victory over the world wound, or create a new character. <clears throat> so... Oh, wow. Wait a minute. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to be before we did the world route. I thought it would be just just uh, just after or something. Hmm. We are going to keep Baron. I guess it's a bit strange that it happens right before the world wound. I would have liked it more if it happened after, but maybe maybe we'll see. Um. So next. Uh, so, difficulty. I have been told that the DLC is rather difficult. But, uh, we're gonna be fine. We'll be fine. We beat the main game. We'll be fine, right? Character character retraining on. Uh, death door on. Uh, and I think that's all we needed to have on. I think that's the only thing I ever changed. Can't actually remember. But, uh, yeah. We'll keep those settings. Character import. Baird, look at him. Master of hell over here. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be our... If we're importing him from the end or not. I can't tell. It said just before threshold, so I guess it's maybe my last save before the end of the game. I don't really know. Complete. I do wonder what it would be like if we created a new character. Do we get all the same companions? Still? Are they also going to be involved? I'm not sure. We're going to do it, though. Uh, I hope it's just loading. <laughs> there we go. All right. So I did get some advice on retraining, which I'm going to do whenever we get the chance. Um... But I don't know if we're going to get the chance right off the bat or if we're jumping straight in. Looks like we're jumping straight in. The architect of the world wound, Rilu Vorlesh, awaited the commander in the heart of Threshold. Their confrontation seemed imminent, but an unexpected obstacle appeared in the commander's path. Who would dare to postpone the inevitable? Hmm. Okay. An impassable barrier. Vague silhouettes can be seen beyond it, looking as though they were... Looking as though they were molded from the gray... Oh my god, stop! Pause it. <laughs> gray mist. Uh, for the moment, the way to the heart of thre a threshold is blocked. Oh no. Hmm. Maybe I should, um, just plug this into the middle of, uh, 
the main game. I don't know. We're gonna let's just go. Oh, we can't go that way. It's this way we're going. All right. All right, Baron. Lead us on, buddy. I like how we have all our buffs still. That's nice. Okay. This way. Access detected. Verbal exchange initiated. The monotone voice rings out across the dungeon of threshold. Request. If you can hear me, please proceed to the fortress entrance. Try to pinpoint where the voice is coming from. Success. The resonant, emotionless voice seems to be coming from very from every direction at once. Who is that speaking? I'm on my way to fight Rilu. I don't have time to talk to you, whoever you are. Request denied due to the severity of the current situation. Who is that speaking? This world is under threat. Anomalies are destroying its integrity. The danger is critical. Assistance is required. Request, please proceed to the fortress entrance. What? What anomalies? easier to do whatever somebody's nagging you to do if only to get them to shut up see that now's not the time we're just, our people are dying outside well well where's that vaunted paladin willingness to save all and sundry now you wouldn't truly refuse a request for aid would you even one as insistent as that all i meant was that maybe we should go to the entrance like the voice keeps telling us to do wait why am i even explaining myself to you Ugh. Mm. Show yourself. Let's talk face to face. Request denied due to the severity of the current situation. I'm coming, but I expect a detailed explanation when we meet. Request. Please proceed to the fortress entrance. Here we go again. Come on, Wolgif. Defeat everybody, Wolgif. Save the world, Wolgif. Ah, what I wouldn't give to be repaid in something other than gratitude for once. Right, Chief? Hmm. Okay. A mysterious... F yeah. Let's head up. Huh? Whoa. Might as well, you know, kill all these demons while we're at it. Um. Oh, we are fighting. Okay. All right, I gotta get back into the the swing of things here. I will resist. Disappear. Uh. Da -da 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 -da. I'll save all my spells. I don't know when we'll get the rest again. Ow, ow. Um, yeah, finish this guy off. Guess we're not saving that spell, though. Get over there, Bismuth. Do not hold back. Do not hold back. Indeed. Uh, mount up. Darren, step up. Fire. Good. Uh, hmm. Go ahead and take that off so you can shoot him. Hey, geez. Calm down, people. Oh, boy. Uh, kill them. Embarrassing. I uh, can't get to that one, so just go kill this one. I would really like it if you guys killed them. That would be very nice. Jeez. Why does Vulture not get to go? Oh god, this is terrible. I'm horrible. I can't win. Are you sure you don't want somebody else? To fight for you, inevitable excess. I can't even beat Arilu at this point. The Guide my blade. 
Just stop trying to hit him and hit him. I will see to your demise. This is embarrassing. There we go. Good job, Barushla. Okay. Everybody, group up. Come together. Heal up. Let's do a group heal. There we go. That was not a, a mass heal. There we go. Okay. Alright, well. Anomaly distortion. That doesn't sound good, does it? Where are we going? How do we get out of here? Am I going the right way? I don't even know. Wait, let's go that way. Are we supposed to leave? No, this is going in. I don't know where I'm going. But this is, this is the, the, the thing of the threshold. We're supposed to go this way? I don't know. I'm so lost. Could, I mean, can they just like teleport me out or something? Yeah, I know assistance is required. I'm trying to assist, assist me here. Why are you guys so far back? What is going on? Why are we so bad? I will resist. Wow. Okay. Um. Haste. I feel like I am not very good anymore. <laughs> Uh, go in. Just get up here. Why are they hitting me so hard? Stop it. Why are we not hitting hard enough? I don't like it. Deep Shadow of Shock. Greater Zombie Lord. None of this seems good. Oh wow, they've got a lot of AC. I hate these succubus people. I hate them with everything I have. Uh, I should just... What the hell? I was warned that this... He's... Was he's on death's door already? Why are these people so strong? I can't die now. I'm not nearly rich enough. Surrender. Why am I not very strong? I mean, we're going to lose. Like we've already lost basically. Um What the fuck? Stop. What is going on? Why are we dying? Why are we so bad? This isn't how it's supposed to be. I can't die now. I'm not nearly rich enough. Or have I, 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 uh, they're all confused. Good. This will leave a bruise. Okay. Tactical retreat. No. Not a fan of what is happening here. But I'm not dying. I know I have last stand, but I thought that already triggered on them, so I'm a little confused. Okay, now she's dead. Okay. Um I will resist. I think I can push through this. Um Time to share your treasures. It's all your fault. Ouch. 
Okay, I'm pretty sure we have already lost. That was nice. Okay, Ember doesn't get to go. Go ahead and put that on and attack this guy. We can't beat him. Yeah, this is... Okay, so this is how hard the DLC is going to be, huh? I'm not... Hmm. I'll make short work of this. Okay. Desna, guide my hand. So we died. So this is how the story of Barrett really ended. I, you know, I'm not. I'm gonna reserve judgment. But from what I've heard, the DLC's hard. I usually do not really am not really a big fan of DLC that takes place before the final fights of the main game that are harder than the main game. But we'll see. I'm just you know we'll see. I'm sure it'll still be fine. I just gotta you know do better. Obviously, I just charged in and got myself killed here, so you know. It's it's my fault, is what I'm saying. Um, is there anything we can do just like right now to to kill this guy? Not that. And you're not gonna be able to hit him. And you've lost most of your actions. Um, we can't banish in here. I don't know, just heal. Hmm. It, it's interesting that I'm not dying. Doesn't matter though, she can't hit. God damn it. Make your peace. Hmm. We have true seeing on too. Like I don't Okay. Okay. Okay game. Starting off strong, we're complaining already. <laughs> what an introduction to the DLC. That's just. I think this is actually going to be my other character, load last save. Because this is like a camp, so. Yeah, this is going to be another character I was playing. Well. Okay. So it doesn't make a save for the new game either. Okay. Bit odd. I feel like it should have auto saved, but okay. Well, there you go. There's the, there's the DLC, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, you know, worth the money. That's up to you to decide or not. Okay, enough of that. Inevitable excess. Dumb, done playing around. I was, I was here to have fun, but I guess I can't have fun. Just gotta go in and kick some ass. My God, that was uh, that was an interesting start for <laughs> for Barrett there. Yep, it, it's it's some imposter. The architect. Okay. Together we stand. It has been a while since I've played too, so I gotta get back into the groove of everything. I am fully buffed though. Like, it's not like I went into that fight not buffed. It's just it didn't seem like my buffs mattered. Uh, what anomalies? Show yourself. I'm on my way to Irilu. I'm coming. 
Okay. So. Right, so we started here. We need to get here. Right? Right? Or is that down there? I don't know. Let's just go. Maybe there was a different path I could have taken that wasn't so... Maybe if I don't touch these guys, they don't get summoned. Yeah, I am. I think. Okay, it didn't summon those guys. Interesting. Can't go that way. So if I don't touch anybody, does that mean nothing's going to be spawned? Or... Did we just not trigger the fight yet? No, nothing's happening. Okay. Huh, so it's because I broke those guys that those things spawned. That makes a little bit... I mean, I, I thought that might... Okay, these guys are actually still here, so never mind. Alright, everybody's here. Um, I'm going to have Barry just charge in, and we're going to use Zero State. Fuck it. Uh, da, 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 da. Fire at them. Uh, that's a zombie lord. I shouldn't have done that. Actually, you can just heal him. You can't reach, but that's okay. Just get into position. Okay, and then you're going to haste. You're going to charge up here. You're going to wait. You're going to mount up. All right, you're going to fire away at this person. Good. Okay. Ow. 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 I do not like that. He'll bear it instead of what you were going to do. You're going to fire him. Um, okay, you're going up in there. I don't want to send you in, so just do this right now. Because you still need to do zero state. Okay. Here we go. I only have one of these. Is that going to hit? It's going to hit some of our guys. So let's move over here. And now zero state. Okay, I dispelled a lot. I just didn't see anything. Okay. Get up here. Into the Ow. Death. Fuck these archers. <laughs> I hate them. Okay. Can cast a heal on him. 100 damage there. Okay. Don't do that. Up, oh, I, I God damn it. Um, hmm. You're probably going to die next round. Do that. That was a waste, actually. Oh, fantastic. And just do this, I guess. I hate. I hate it. I hate it so much. Make your peace. Oh, hold on. Just a little more. Okay. And then Ember. Keep attacking him. I keep skipping Wolder's turn. God damn it. Go ahead. Summon the gold golems over here. Zenith, I swear to God, you need to stop. There we go. Get this succubus out of here. Come on. Almost. 
good. Okay, I think we're gonna be okay. But man, that was a nerve-wracking fight. Go ahead and you start hitting this guy. Good critical hit there. All right, Wolder finally gets to go. Strike as one. The light take you. I fucking hate you. Your stupid breath attack weapons. Okay, um, breath of life on her. Um, go ahead and get up. And attack him. Attack him. Come on. Thank you, Wolder. Uh, I didn't realize I was so low. That's not good. Zenith, stop being a, a dumb horse. Be a smart horse. Good. Okay. Let's do another mass heal. Um, right there would work. Perfect. Ember. Keep doing what you're doing. It's working slowly. Distract him for me. Can't you just die already? I do wish you could just die already. Let's do this. We shall overcome. Zenith, smite. I should have done mark of whatever. How many times can you do that? That's not fair. That's like a level nine spell. At least. Okay. Do it again. Go. Everybody's at max health now, besides Bismuth, who's dead. Go ahead and do this. Alright, he's almost down. Wolf. 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 Okay. Do not hold back. Good hit there. See, that's hopefully going to finish him off. There we go. Aye, aye. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and... This way? Did I go... Where... where... Was this optional? Where the hell am I going? How do I get there? Oh, I could go up here. Okay. Threshold. Uh, come on, guys. Get up here. Threshold. There we go. Uh, do I want to take anybody new with us? Um, it's hard to fight against this group here that we have, to be honest. Now, I was given a new spec for Sossiel. It would be fun to try, but I don't know who I would replace with. Sela with her smites and just her damage, I think, her melee damage, I think, is just too good. And plus, she brings Zenith with her, which is always nice to have, just have another body. Arushle, obviously, with her, with her ranged stuff is good. Ember with her damage is good. Darren with his healing's good, so Wolgif would be the one I'd choose, but with the sneak attack damage and the buffs, I don't know if I could really get rid of him and feel comfortable. We're gonna keep this party for now, since this is the party that got summoned. I don't know if we'll be able to change, but I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The reason for the post. Just go ahead and read that. Uh, if a person has a sworn enemy, then they will be predisposed to ascribe all misfortunes and failures, all obstacles in their path to the enemy. The commander was ready to plunge into the heart of the 
heart of threshold to fight his ultimate foe, me, Aurelio Vorlesh, but an unexpected obstacle has appeared in his path. Who would dare to postpone the battle that the commander has been striving toward for so long? The reason for the postponement of the commander's battle was the architect of the world with the architect of the world wound has been revealed. In this time, it was not a demon standing in the commander's path, but a creature of order, a primordial inevitable, intriguing. Figure out what is going on. The situation the commander finds himself in must have an explanation, and that explanation must be found. Perhaps he should take a look around. Mysterious voices summon the commander to the entrance to Threshold. Okay, well this obviously is Threshold, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say this obviously is not for Threshold, but nope, it is. Uh, okay. Hey guys. Oh. Access detected. Verbal exchange has been initiated and will be recorded in my memory. I have been waiting for you. My name is Valmalos. Valmalos. The towering golem addresses you, but his voice does not originate from his motionless lips, nor even from his head, but directly from the burning heart in his chest. Serpentine scrolls coil around the golem, rustling as they're whispering to the map to their master. He looks awesome. I love the scroll effect looks really cool. Uh, who are you, Val Valmalos? A primordial inevitable. My second name is the Answering Rite. I am the Guardian of Magic. My task is to monitor instances of dangerous, experimental, unsanctioned magic and to neutralize them if they pose a threat to the integrity of this world. Hmm. I shouldn't like to see this Answering Rite fellow appear before me if I suddenly go seeking revelations from the gods. My form is optimal for performing the tasks assigned to me. Don't feel bad, Mr. Valmalos. It doesn't matter that you look awful. Well, guys, <laughs> he looks cool. What are you guys talking about? Who are the primordial inevitables? We are living machines, super golems created to perform certain tasks. The primordial inevitables were the first among all inevitables. Eons designed us. Axiomites poured the metal for our bodies. Axis is the crucible from which we came. The material plane is the site of our vigil. Hmm. The powers of a primordial inevitable are comparable to those of a demigod. Oh, cool. So uh, I, I imagine if you took the Aeon path, you might have some... Maybe open up some more dialogue. Although the trickster path has a dialogue right here. Now, obviously, Barrett was an... A, well, not in Aeon, but part Aeon for a while, so he does feel a certain connection to to this whole thing going on. You monitor the use of dangerous magic, magic capable of destroying the world. Where were you when Arely Vorlish opened the world wound? The world wound problem was promptly analyzed. Inevitable Emeslin was sent to eliminate it. The result was failure and loss of functionality. Hmm. Axis thanks you for destroying Emeslin. Meslin, when did we do that? I don't remember. <laughs> um, Vamalos, Vamalos' voice is sanguine. It is impossible to tell if Meslin's defeat and death trouble him at all. The world wound problem is still to be resolved. Your arrival here is linked to the search for a solution to the world wound problem. Mm-hmm. Meslin's death doesn't bother you at all? Emotions were not factored into the construction of inevitables. The creators considered them superfluous. That's awful. Living without emotions, never feeling anything. Never being able to love, to want, to crave. I pity you, Balmolos. Hmm. Let's get to the point. What do you want from me? This world is under threat. Anomalies are destroying its integrity. The danger is critical. Assistance is required. Okay. The confluence of mythic, semi-divine, and divine powers in one place on Golarion risks destabilizing the very fabric of the material plane. The power of the Knight Commander of the Fifth Crusade must be contained to prevent catastrophic consequences. Hmm. Let me make one thing clear. I don't owe you a thing. All right. What do you mean by anomalies? What kind of a catastrophe are we talking about? What specifically do you want from me? I don't have time for your request. I really was waiting for me. Uh, what do you mean by anomalies? Small rifts in reality spontaneously manifesting in the fabric of this world. They are like a sickness poisoning this world. 
generating copies of various creatures from its memory and imbuing them with irrational behavior. Mm -hmm. The anomaly infected copies are non functional. They must be eliminated. I can hardly make sense of what this Valmolos guy is saying. He can't seem to talk straight at all. But as far as these anomalies go, everything's crystal clear. You see one, you kill one. Not much different from demons. Hmm. What kind of catastrophe are you talking about? The confluence of excess powers in one place, exacerbated by the conflict between them, is having a destructive effect on reality. Rifts in the world's matter are imminent. The world of Galarian will be torn to pieces, and it is likely consumed by other planes. This catastrophe must be prevented. Okay, yeah, that sounds bad. If you call upon your power, you should be able to sense the impending catastrophe. Focus on your senses. Success. Somewhere far away, at the age of your perception, you do sense some kind of disturbance. A tension. Like someone is trying to wind a mechanical clock past breaking point, and this feeling is emanating from threshold. At the same time, you feel a strange lightness in your chest. The bleeding scar has vanished, leaving you leaving behind no sign at all that it was ever there. Hmm. What, ex what specifically do you want me to do? The anomalies created by these material rifts must be destroyed. Their focal point has been detected in the city of Iz. Request, you will go to Iz to destroy the anomalies. Mm-hmm. And it's pronounced eyes, sir. Warning. Anomalies can influence the minds of those subjected to them. Be prepared for memory distortions. Uh, I don't like that. But I sense a strain in the fabric of reality coming from the threshold. Why are you sending me to... Uh, to I'm going to keep calling it eyes. Entry to threshold is currently impossible. Anomalies are everywhere. I will remain here and search for a way to solve the anomaly problem in threshold while you solve the anomaly problem in is. Valmolos is silent. For the first time, you see the inevitable is carefully choosing his words. I don't have time for your request. The relu is waiting for me. Threshold is the center of the material rifts in this world. Entry is impossible. The probability of being teleported to a random plane is high. A solution to this problem is being found. The anomalies in Is are currently of a higher priority. Hmm. No way. I'm going back to Threshold. Reach for your weapon. Out of my way, Gollum. Well, I guess I don't have any choice but to go to eyes. Hmm. <laughs> what what happens if we do do that? I mean, like, obviously we won't be able to go in, right? Or get there. Like, it's blocked. We know it's blocked. We tried to go forward already. So we know what he's talking about is true. At least for threshold. I guess I don't have any choice but to go to eyes. This verbal exchange will be terminated and recorded in my memory. We will meet again when you have solved the problem in is. Okay. Interesting. So we've done this one. Life is full of paradoxes. Sometimes, in order to reach a destination, one must go in the opposite direction. The commander wishing to reach the heart threshold and there determine the future Galarian has been forced to retreat from the fortress and walk in another direction. The things one does to save the world. Valmolos has said that the source of the anomalies must be sought in eyes. The commander must return to the ruined city. Okay, well. Hey guys, how you doing? We'll hold this position at any cost. Good, because it might be a while. That's a lot of loot. Why? Where's all this loot from? I... Uh, my god, we have so much crap. <laughs> um... I guess we'll learn all these recipes again. Even though I'm pretty sure we knew them all. But... I guess I forgot him. There was a memory distortion. Take this, take this. We have so much. I. Eh. You really uh, collect a lot of stuff playing playing through this game. It's interesting. I don't know why. I guess if you didn't play the main game, I don't know. It would be quite the spoiler if you didn't play the main game and you just jumped into the DLC with a new character. 
Like they just throw you at the end, th end of the game. Uh, yeah, we'll take that stuff too. And there's a Nevia Jewel. There's a trader. Have you always were you here last time I was here? I don't remember. I don't remember anything. Ever burning torches? I don't know why we have these or those. Take those. Get get them out of here. Uh, I guess we need to do this again. There you go. Take that. Okay. Um, this is a storyteller. Hey, buddy. The storyteller is sickly pale, his dry hands shaking slightly as they clutch a ring of some kind. His white lips whisper something you cannot make out. He senses your footsteps only when you walk right up to him, saying with a start, Who is this? Ah, Commander. Greetings. I'm sorry I did not recognize your footsteps. My mind is in turmoil, it seems. The storyteller's voice drops to a whisper. I fear that it is playing tricks on me. Uh, what's wrong with you? Evil attack. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? I don't know, Commander. I've been stricken with a strange mala... Ma malaise? Malaise? I already never could... I never know how to say that word. And I feel myself going mad. Whenever I touch any object, I see not its story like before, but its many possible versions, as if all that ever came to be has cast many shadows in every direction, and I am wandering amongst them. I, it's terrifying. I'm a frail, blind wanderer, and my memory is all I have. I've lived for it. Learned on it. Why? All I am is memory in a decrepit shell. And now my mind is toying with me, and I am frightened. I do not know what is true. Who are you? Who one who stands before me? Have we truly met before? Or am I an old madman clinging to a passerby's sleeve, pestering them with, ram with my ramblings? He hunches helplessly, under the weight of his own terror. I fear the moment when my strength of mind will fade completely, and I will become a babbling lunatic who talks to rocks. I want to reach out of my past once more out to my past once more, my real past, not one from a vision. In the world wound, there was a tower that once served as my abode. Will you take me there? I'm afraid I no longer have it in me to make the journey alone. I'll escort you to the tower? Thank you. Shall we depart at once? A strange ripple passes over the landscape, as if everything is but a reflection in a pond where a stone has just landed. Your senses scream at you that something unnatural is at work here. Oh, we're... we're wait, no, I wanted to... No! That didn't mean go now. Okay, well we're here. Let us press on. All right, so this is where we killed the dragon, right? Yep. Oh, the dragon's back. The hell's going on? Who's that? How prettily, how prettily they burn? Okay. Oh. Damned magic. There are traps all over and spells casting themselves. A strange pair, a wound worm, and a crusader in a bloodstained in bloodstained armor is absorbed in burning the scrolls in the sh on the shelves, not noticing you. Caleb. If you could burn any great figure, anyone at all, who would it be? Runord Zutha. He was fat. Maybe the fattest there ever was, and I enjoyed watching the plump ones plump ones pop when the fat inside them comes to a, comes to a boil. I would burn Caden Kalian before he become, became a god. They say he had a good joke for every occasion. I wonder what wisecrack he'd come up atop a bonfire. Uh. How did we end up here? I do not know, Commander. I cast no spells. It's as if the world itself transported us here the moment you decided to help me. I've never encountered phenomena of this nature before. Do you remember these two? I recognize these, these spiteful voices. The warrior is the traitorous crusader who tried to burn me in, in the Black Wing Library. Strange. I thought he died in Canopris. And the dragon almost devoured me in my tower. I owe my escape to you. Leave the cover? Hey, you two. Uh, yeah, we're not scared. Hey, you two. Oh, it's the one I was telling you about. That's the crusader who killed me. He jabs his finger emphatically in your direction. You're not the one he brought down, Caleb. Or you're not the only one he brought down, Caleb. You too. What a coincidence. So you're the commander everyone's been talking about? If I'd known back then you'd rise so high, dying would be a bit more of an honor. I killed both of you, so what are you doing here? Somebody resurrected us. Let's just call him our new employer. You've met him, by the way. Big mechanical fellow with his heart on the, on the outside. Keeps yammering on about what's right and what's anomalous. Anyway, he brought us back to life, and as payment, he demanded that we complete an important mission for him. 
important. Devourer scoffs. He simply sent us to clean up a mess. He said this whole tower is steeped in anomalies, down to the last pebble, and it must be burned along with its contents, without leaving a single page or stone behind. Now that the opportunity has presented itself, I think we should also incinerate its owner. She shoots the storyteller a menacing look. Failed religion check. Clearly, for a creature as powerful as Valmalos, resurrecting these two was an easy feat. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm Caleb Sazamal. We met in the Blackwing Library in Canabras, right when I was about to burn this ho burn this old wreck. Caleb, whose face is, is familiar to you, points at the storyteller. I am Devara, Bane of the World Wound. Because of you, my clutch was pillaged, and my offspring died before their birth. Do not think I have forgotten. She lets out a vengeful hiss. And why you in particular were chosen for this task? Maybe Valmalos could tell we were naturals at burning literature. Or doddering old elves. I was never that all that interested in literature myself. I take it you're about to start a fight. I'd love to fight you, but it will have to wait. This time we're following the orders of our of your ally, so I guess we're we're the good guys today, and you'll stay out of our and you'll stay out of our way. We'll just turn everything in this place to ash, and you can go on about your business. You can leave the elf here if you like. We'll burn him too. And feed on him. The storyteller straightens up, his pale skin glowing faintly, and his voice acquiring an unusually regal air. He raises his hand and a shimmering shimmer of magic envelops them. Remove your filthy hands from my memories. Whatever they may be, they are mine, and anyone who encroaches upon them I will send to Phrasma as many times as I must. See, the elf is asking for it. What say we, what say we kill him together? I'll tell Vamalos that you helped us, and like semi-divine entities, and like semi-divine entities, or want to do, he'll treat you to some kind of reward, eh? Would anyone care to venture a guess as to what past transgression landed us with these two formerly departed and pres presently resurrected pyroma pyromaniacs as our sidekicks? You've changed, storyteller. Has he? What are you talking about? Is this tower really an anomaly? Really an anomaly? I am unfamiliar with the word in anomaly. What? But yes, my tower is laced with chaotic and impossible memories. Which makes it existent, which, which make its existence unnatural. Perhaps an echo of those memories has reached out to me through the, through the tower, but that does not concern me. I am a memory. I am memory. It is my duty to preserve stories, and those who threaten them will witness, witness the power of the greatest archmage of Kionin. How about we ease up on the on the arson and go our separate ways? Knowledge Arcana forty. Pick up a piece of paper and study it carefully. The paper is covered in an elaborate magical. It is covered in elaborate magical equations. With great difficulty, you manage to make sense of them. These calculations seem to prove that the existence of magic is impossible, and they look eerily convincing. Okay. Uh, uh, storyteller, stand down. They must carry out Valmalos' orders. Um, da, 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 da. How about we go our separate ways? Impossible. We're brought back for a single purpose. I assume that, should we fail to fulfill it, we will drop dead again, and I much prefer being alive. Easy there, Commander. I mean, we're doing the right thing here, and the old fart over there is trying to ruin everything. He's the one you need to deal with, not us. Uh, not storytellers with us. I won't let you torch this place. Valmalos looks... Took... Valmalos took precautions against any who might interfere with our task, so he infused us with a great deal of his power. Let me demonstrate you... Demonstrate just how much... First, I'll burn you in my flames, then bite you in half and trample you beneath my feet. Overkill? I'm not greedy. You sense that the ground beneath your feet is a little shakier than before. The colors around you seem to blur slightly, and the sounds that you hear blend and mix together. Your actions have violated the order and stability of this place. Okay, well, fuck you guys. Storyteller's with me, and you guys are evil. He should not have revived you guys. I'm not... Not a good start to our relationship with Valmalos. Uh, I guess go ahead and just attack. See what we got here. Okay. He's not terribly strong, it looks like. Go ahead and haste. Ow. Alright, he's gone. I'm immune to fire, you fool. Did that get shot back at me? What the fuck just happened?
a spell scroll? Where did that come from? Oh boy. Mark of Justice. Uh, go ahead and bring her back. Okay. And then step up. Barrett, go ahead and get up in there. Um, move up. Take that off. Fire. There we go. There. The storyteller's voice reveals a mixture of exhaustion and satisfaction. Those who had set fire to my memories are dead. Tell me about your connection to the tower. What is wrong with this place? What are you going to do now? Are you sure we shouldn't cleanse this place? Shall we go back to camp? Uh, what is wrong with this place? My own understanding is quite limited, Commander. All I know is that this tower and I are connected by a spiritual bond, for I am a living font of stories, and the tower is my past, my own story. It has absorbed some chaotic energies of the unreal, and it, through our bond, they have affected me as well. The scrolls that fill this tower, the knowledge that lies within, these are the same false memories that have appeared in my mind. What are you going to do now? Delve. There is a painful thirst in the storyteller's voice. So many stories of the might have been are now laid bare before me, and I wish to learn them all. Are you sure we shouldn't cleanse this place? No. My new recollections tell me, may tell the tales of that which never existed, but that does not diminish their significance. My mind stores memories of empires whose remains are now dust, but have they truly ever existed? Does it matter? Yes. The storyteller's voice takes on an off-putting, cooing tone. Memories are like children. They are all innocent, even if some of them are different from the, from the rest. And it is my duty to, tr to treasure them all. Okay, yes, he has changed. Uh, shall we go back to camp? I'll find my own way back. I will remain in the tower for now. I would like to lay my hands on its stonework and remember all the things that were that were and those that were not. Okay, yeah, I think we made a mistake. <laughs> but uh, you know, these guys were evil. Why why didn't he bring back somebody good to carry out his duties? Okay, anything around here? Is a chest? Anything new in the chest? Uh, some scrolls. I'll take them. Alright, let's head back down. Don't walk through the fire, guys. Jesus. Smile. The world's not ending just terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Heal her. Oh, I've got to sneeze. Alright, we need to restore her. go. Perfect. Uh, should we check down here? We'll check. Let's be thorough. Alright, what do we got going on down here? So, Valmalos, I feel like me and Valmalos are gonna have some some problems. This is not good. <laughs> I will guide us. I will not Save it. I'm glad we explored. Storyteller might die from these guys. Oh, well, there's three of them. Oh, shit. These magics should be used in other ways. Why can't I charge you? Okay. Well, if I can't charge you, I don't know. Just get in there. Oh, there's four of them. Oh, Jesus. What are these things? They look scary. Okay. Well. AC wise, they're not too bad. Too late, too late for apologies. Okay. There's a lot more of them than I initially thought. That's not good. Time to share your treasures. Okay, Baron. Uh, da, 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 da. go ahead. Where is my cup? Summon these guys over here. Good. Move over here. Okay. 
Hopefully that will distract them. And then Sila. I don't know if these guys are... Act are you guys evil? No, the chaotic neutral. So that doesn't actually help us. Okay, go over there. Attack that one. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. Hmm. Hit this one. There you go. 46 damage. Get in there. Alright, who do we want to kill first? Probably these guys. They're a little bit... They're flanking us, so... Good. Ow. Okay. So what they lack in AC, they make up for in... Attack. Goodbye, Bismuth. Whose strength did they just take? Okay, our summons. Good. Cover me, alright? Finish him off. Never mind. Okay. You missed. Haha. <laughs> um, go ahead and attack this one. Mm, how are we doing? Let's just heal. Just in case. And that's good. You're gonna hit this one. Looks like our haste ran out. True strike. It's cheating. Okay. Looks like we're out of our level six spells. Go ahead and move to this one. Got him. Hang in there, Sila. All right, you're gonna move up to this guy. Oh, this is a distorting one. So they're different ones. I see. Um, let's go ahead and do force reality. I don't know if that was really necessary, but I did it. Got a little Kira going on. Good. See that attack this guy. Good. Um, go ahead and stop doing that. Go ahead and just fire. Damn, I was hoping that would do it. Um. Yeah, finish him off. They just knock Barry to the ground. Good. You're done. Distract them for me. Go ahead and get up, Baron. Or not. One more. I wonder if we're gonna get like any more mythic paths for this. Or not mythic paths, but mythic levels maybe. Where'd you come from? Why are there so... What is going on? God damn it. You think you know something. Okay. Um. Now we can't hit anybody. Um. Time to share your treasures. Hmm. This isn't going very well, is it? Go ahead and stand up. Um, what do we got? Go ahead and use this. Sila. Good. I'll make short work of this. Damn. Prepare yourself. Good. Glad we got at least one hit there. Okay. Did we just get petrified or something? What's going on? I think it's possible that we did. Get this guy. Okay, so the distorting ones are the, the, the hard ones. Is that what's down here too? Yes. Okay. Kill this guy. Get him out of there. Okay. And then we're gonna wanna use a mass heal. 
Perfect. It actually didn't save Bulgif. That's not good. That's good, though. Okay. Fire away. These guys are tough. Then don't die. All right, let's turn the camera. Do not hold back. I swear to God, if we summon more of them. The inheritor, guide my blade. And go ahead and use a heal on Bulgif. Why is he not healing? What the hell's going on? Oh no. Minus six levels. Who? How? We have Death Ward on. Oh, we don't have Life Bubble. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, this one's almost dead. Go ahead and use Aeon's Bane. Nope. Didn't help. Finish this guy off. Okay. Finish. No, he's not going to hit. Uh, just. Hmm. Breath of Life. Target is not recently dead? What do you mean he's not? Okay. Just do this then. Finish this guy off. Good. Okay. Yeah, you can finally start. Oh, he's a he's been polymorphed. That's what happened to him. No glory without risk. There you go, got a hit. Stop hitting me. Just die. There we go. That's the damage I like to see. Uh, heal Baron. Fire. Whew. Okay. Let us not hesitate. That was tough. What do we have here? Flaws Cloak of Resistance plus seven. I think that's new. I don't think we ever got plus seven resistance stuff before. Uh, it's not anywhere to go, right? Cool. I don't believe we have anybody still using resistance cloaks. I think we all have specialized cloaks now, but cool nonetheless. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, right here. Let's see if we can't get back to camp. Uh, I would, let's go back to camp. I just want to see if I can respect there. So I can plan to respect in the next episode. Oh, Caleb. You didn't even realize. The collapse. Didn't we have that Warhammer already? Is that where we got the collapse from? I don't actually know. Did the dragon have loot? Oh, I don't see any. Okay. Storyteller, don't don't get too weird up here, please. Leaf. The path of the commander, which seemed to be drawing toward its logical conclusion, has unexpectedly taken a new turn. But there is no time to marvel at the twist of fate. The world is under threat and the wielder of extraordinary power must deal with it, whether he wishes to or not. The world wound yawns wide before the commander, as hostile as ever, or perhaps it is not quite the same as always. The commander decided that he should take a look around. There is nothing out of the ordinary about the scene at first glance, but upon closer inspection, oddities begin to appear, begin to appear quite literally appear. Eyes has now come into view on the horizon, though it was not there before. Perhaps it was there all along, and has only been revealed now that the skies are clear. Speaking of which, when did the world moon last experience clear skies? On the other hand, one never knows what strange phenomena the world moon might produce. Perhaps fair weather is one of them? The world moon yawns wide before... Yep. Yeah, command decides what you should do. Uh, return to... Threshold. It's strange, but the road 
to the commander's destination seems much shorter than it first appeared. It seems as though the commander had only just set foot on the path before the journey was already at its end. Of course, one could argue that all of this all of this is but the hard work is but the work of the commander's imagination. After all, one's memory tends to only record vivid experiences, and a monotonous trek here can hardly be described as such. Well, I don't know about that, but but this is not the first strange thing the commander has experienced here. The weather is, an, is, a, is another oddity. The commander senses a strange unreality in the events unfolding here. What is really going on? Hmm. It is strange. I mean, we know. I mean, this fabric of reality is getting messed up. I mean, come on. We know what's happening. It is doing a good job of making me feel like it's definitely something we need to fix, though. Hey, my chest. Which just has those things in there. Okay. Anavia? I probably shouldn't have started the conversation. <laughs> She's probably going to lead us somewhere. Hey, Commander. Anavia's face is mottled, mottled red with f fresh cuts, and her neck is wrapped in a blood-stained bandage. She holds a dagger with a jagged edge in her hand, and the blade lets out a grating shriek with every pass of the whetstone. We need to talk. Hey, are you right? Oh, you mean the scratch? Anavia points at the bandage around her neck. I got clawed. It's nothing serious. The traitor's croak in her voice suggests the opposite. How are things in the camp? I sent out... I sent most of the soldiers to spread out around the area. We've got thresholds surrounded. We've set up our base of operations here. Somewhere you can rest and replenish your supplies. We're preparing to attack. Didn't I just send you off to attack... Didn't I just send you off to the attack on threshold? Anevi appears at you sympathetically. Been out in the sun too long, Commander? I am positive that I already attacked threshold. Answer the question. Yes, Commander. If a military salute could ever be said to be mocking, then Anevia just demonstrated the perfect example of one. No, you haven't attacked. Threshold yet. You're still preparing. The big battle is still ahead of us. What do you want to talk about? The frantic shrieking of the whetstone or the dagger dies away. I know the big push is coming, and now now is not the right time, but Anevia's eyes lock with yours, and you can see the panic in them. We gotta save Beth before it's too late. Where's Erebeth? What does she need to be saved from? She's in Eyes. One of our units on patrol spotted a band of demons. We gave chase and pursued them all the way to Eyes. Then more of the scum jumped out of nowhere, and everything and everything went to pot. We had to split up. Arabeth's group was forced to retreat into some ruins, and we couldn't get to him. I tried, but I almost got the rest of us trapped there too. And Evia touches the blood bandage, bloody bandage, and then I got clawed. Long story short, Beth's somewhere out there still. Alive, I hope. You won't make it through you won't make it through in small groups. And I, damn it all, don't have the right to call a larger troop away from the main attack. And Evia's voice grows louder. I thought of just dropping everything and trying to sneak through on my own, but that's a suicide mission, not a rescue mission. The dagger rings out plaintiv plaintively as Anevia tosses it against the stone. So what am I supposed to do? Sit here and wait until the until all of them are killed? Celia gives Anevia a reassuring nod. We won't we don't abandon our own. We'll get him out. Won't we, Commander? Arabeth is fighting in the Crusade as well? Never smiles bitterly. You think she'd let me come here on my own? Uh, what were the demons like? They were strange. They looked normal enough, but they weren't. There was something off about them. Something wrong. Anevia says these words with particularly gravi particular gravity. Her voice edged with steel. I'll find her. Thanks. Anevia goes strangely limp, and the light in her eyes goes out. I hoped you would say that. One time you dragged me out of the bowels of Canabras. Now Beth needs your help. Have to go. Okay. So we got to do that in eyes too. Uh, so we do not see the retrainer here, right? Uh, oh, Hel Hilor, there he is. Okay. So we'll be able to retrain. Perfect. What's this? Mine. All right, guys. So that's going to be the end of the first episode of the Inevitable Excess DLC. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It started off a bit rocky there. <laughs> we wiped very early. It's just not a good sign for things to come. But I'm interested to see uh, where this goes. It's 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 an interesting it's an interesting spot for a DLC. Um, we'll see how how it plays out and uh, what goes on. And I just realized Zenith is still polymorphed. Can I just fix that real quick? Can I just fix that real quick? Can I just fix that real quick? Is this possible? 
Is it possible? Stop. Oh my god. I hate this goddamn fast healing. Uh, 31. Oh, I rolled a 1. Yeah, it's very possible. I'm just rolling like crap, apparently. Is it not? Oh my god. Just get, come on. Come on, Baird. Save Zenith. This is the real challenge right here. Are you really not going to roll a 13 in this entire thing? There we go. My goodness. All right. <laughs> That's it for this episode, guys. Until the next one, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later.